They got jackets in here? That's nice. Guys, they also tell you to download the app to save more money. If you having a, a hard Thanksgiving. <laughs> One person, hey. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of the JRS Family Vlogs video. It's your boy Rail here. She can yes, guys. And today we want to show you something new in our city. Right here in the Bronx, they have a new supermarket that they built right here at the Gateway Mall at 149th Street in Exterior. So it's called Little, L-I-D-L. Never been to this supermarket before, but we heard they had a lot of great deals and they're always very inexpensive. So we're gonna go in and check it out and see what they got. Yes, let us be the judge. Like we said, if it's anything new in the city, especially in the Bronx that we hear about, we definitely wanna go pull up. Yes. So hopefully they got some good sales in there. Hopefully they got some good pickups. So we show y'all what they got and hopefully enjoy this video. Don't forget to like Share. and subscribe. Really Shout out to um, the Yankees this year that did an amazing job. Made it all the way to the finals, but we didn't get the ring. And I also want to show you guys this stuff here. Roberto Clemente, one of the um, Puerto Rican greats that did it. Hey. So they got like a little contribute here for him. So I want to show you guys. I don't know how long it's gonna be here, but whenever you get a chance, you definitely could come to 161st Street, right here at Yankee Stadium. And you get to see this also. It just always remind me, I remember when we was a kid, we used to take the D train here and we used to come out on this exit here. They only really use these exits here for game days and stuff like that. Then they got these dudes over here. These guys right here, if the Yankees are looking for any good talent. This is where you gonna find it. Yeah, right here. So right here under the train is where people usually like come during games and go to the bars and see the games. Sometimes when the Yankees are doing away games, this is where they'll come to the bars to see the games. Comment down below if you ever tried Justin's pizza. I'm not too sure about it, but I can guarantee you that the slices is probably like five dollars like anything and everything around yankee stadium is a little expensive yeah, it's more high price yeah but the only thing that's probably not as expensive but might be now is the mcdonald's that's there on the corner they also have a taco bells back there also and a taco bell and yeah. they got that crepe phrase i don't know if you guys are into like sweets and stuff like that oh crepe maybe one yeah. day we'll show y'all yeah the crepe it's small in there so we never really vlogged in there but they definitely got the nice sweets and then chocolate yep. crepes and stuff and they also have our, our favorite diner that we like to go to over yes, there right there one and they also got what we got Marry that. So yep, exactly. This is always gonna be like a staple for us in the Bronx yes, as we um, look back at our journey here on YouTube and just our journey and our relationship. Right. How it all started in the Bronx and it probably won't end in the Bronx, but who knows, right? What the future holds. So check this out, guys. They also have a field here. Oh, that this field is big. I mean, it's big enough to have two, three baseball teams on. Yeah, they definitely fill up. You see a lot of people that come sit here, and a lot of people stand here and watch the game. You see, they got like seats and stuff. They definitely set it up in the nighttime. So this is the walk that we take from Yankee Stadium to get to the Gateway Mall. You can either take the bus, which is this 13 bus right here. It'll also leave you right in front of the mall. Or you can walk from Yankee Stadium to the mall. Here go the expensive parking. Yes. Anybody that comes to the city should know, never park at the Yankee parking. Always use like from 167 or like 170 in Jerome Dam. I just wanted to show you the guys. I don't know if you have a, ever seen something like this in your town, but it's like our skate park right here in the Bronx. It's not like real crowded, but it definitely gets crowded. You'll see a lot of people over there like cooking out. You definitely see a lot of people here. So this is the River Ave State Park. This is something that they tried to build like for us in the city here, like for the young kids to have something to do. Pretty cool, which I think definitely like a kickback spot. So got some people pulling up now. I mean, when we come back, maybe we'll see some people that's um, doing their thing in here. Oh, nice in there. They got all the graffiti going yeah, on. Yeah, it definitely looks themed to like, maybe one day Jazza bring out her board and show you guys nah. what she got. Nope. <laughs> this used to be like one of the Yankee Stadium parking lots. I noticed that the police use this as like a guess command center here. And this is a, a entrance for the train where it goes into the tunnel and out of the tunnel. Yep. Which is pretty cool. So if you ever came to New York and you come through uh, right from Manhattan to the Bronx, once you hit the Bronx or 161st and you see the light, you most likely will see uh, Yankee Stadium in the back. So here's a list of all the stores. They used to have the Marshalls, they don't have that no more. They got the Raymore and Flanagan, the Target, T-Mobile, they got a Wingstop. They got a food bazaar. That is the other supermarket that's here. Now they have the little. They got Burlington. They got a food hall coming soon. Cool. So they kicking out stores or businesses is leaving and they bringing them in, huh? And Chuck E. Cheese. Never really saw the boogie down food hall that never came. 
Well, it says open soon, so yeah, we'll see. Been saying that for a couple years. <laughs> oh dang! We made it to the new little food market. Wow. Let's see how the staff is. Let's see how the uh, work is on. Let's see how the prices is, and let's see what the vibe is. Oh, the superest market. We here. Wow. Oh, it smells I'm good. It smell brand new. Wow. Oh, look, guys, they got these nice little baskets. Let's pick one up. So we just want to walk around, show you some of the prices, and definitely show you what's in here. I mean, it's brand new, so they definitely got a lot of fresh items, I guess. Definitely decent prices. We're not looking for nothing in particular, but if we see some stuff that we could use for the house, we definitely gonna grab it. I do love these trail mix. I ain't gonna lie. These drinks be hitting crazy, especially at work. With the trail mix, $3. I want to make sure this is the price because sometimes it'll tell you, okay, like the weight and not the price that throw you off. You want some of those? These are a dollar. You $1. want some? $1. Look at this salmon. The trio. Some is um, traditional pepper and maple. The one that we had the other day, that's what I'm saying. It was like smoked salmon. That's why I had like that smoky taste to it. Yeah, I mean, it was good. A little salty, but it was good. What oh, got imitation crab. Okay. It's like if you want to make some mac and crab, macaroni and crab. $3, guys. Hey. Yeah, I don't bucks. know what Jazz going to get. Even this stuff be going very expensive, too, like the pulled pork. Like, if you're going to make some tacos, tacos or pulled pork, this usually goes for about $10 or more. They're going 729 They got cilantro lime chicken. Oh, right. Ten bucks. Kevin. Cilantro lime chicken. Oh, they got raviolis and noodles and stuff. Oh, okay. You feel the real Italian chicken, chicken pasta. Good. It's pretty cool, right? And then all you gotta do is add the sauce. Yeah, Chicken, done man. for eight bucks. All right, feed the family. Oh, they got pizza, real love pizza. Is it good? Seven bucks. Dang, it's big. <laughs> oh wow. Seven dollars though. Hey, that oh look, no, it good. actually is six thirty nine, and then pepperoni is seven dollars. Wow, ultimate meat pizza, ultimate pepperoni, cheese. That's pretty cool. They even got like, if you want to go smaller, the cheese tortellini. Oh, three bucks, a little under three dollars. That's pretty good. Mushroom tortellini. Tough. Right. Interesting. Macaroni, if you don't know how to make your own. Oh, they got potato salad. Oh, they got mustard potato, macaroni, home style coleslaw. This is giving me for the people that can't cook mine. Oh, already done, right? Prep, ready to go. $20. No, have y'all ever had this? Come down below. Crab in the can. No, thank you. <laughs> SpongeBob inspired. Oh, God. Oh, I like these guys. Like, when you go on trips and stuff, you can take these. Adult Lunchables. Yeah, Adult Lunchables. I like those. And they got the one for the kids. So, hey, guys, come and get these. Look, three bucks. That's good. Look, they even got one for a dollar. And they got, and this is pizza. Dollar twenty-four. Oh, okay. Wow. The only thing is missing is a juice. So, here, babe, deli meat that you was looking for. Right here, turkey. Oh, uh, okay. So we got some turkey, guys. Three dollars and twenty-six cents. Okay, Make a that's sandwich. pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, guys, this is like my favorite stuff right here: salami and pepperonis and stuff. I love Man, it. You know what's crazy? I don't know about you guys, but I like to shop around. So this is a different brand. This chicken, but a different brand. Right, and it's cheaper. Three nineteen. Yeah. Honey ham. Honey ham. Okay. They bagged it and sliced it. It's real thick. Oh, hot dogs. Oh, 135 yeah. For some hot dogs. Oh, they got ham for seven bucks. Oh, it's already sliced. Yeah, all you need oh, is some uh, sweet brown sugar. $7. Okay. I don't care. Yo, come pick this up, guys. Yeah, I know around hey, the holiday. They Thanksgiving coming up. Yes, sir. Look. A dollar thirty-five, guys, for some Franks. I mean, some people are picky with their Franks, so I don't know you guys like the little brand, but you have to come check these out. The Nathan's is good, five well, uh, bucks. They charge a lot for Nathan's too. So. Yeah, Nathan's is expensive. Oh, they got they, these ones. They long too. It's a big pack for four nineteen. Hey. The hell is this? Oh dang, I don't know. Wow. It's like a sausage. This will turn your stomach. Imagine eating this on vacation. No, thank y'all pass. <laughs> you be in the room for the rest of the vacation. No. Bacon, okay. Bacon be going for like seven. Even this five one, three bucks dollars. too. Oh, three oh three. Oh, you can get these at Western B too, y'all. Three for ten, though. Three for ten, yeah. So you'll get it cheaper here. Family pack, six dollars. Oh, dang, that's pretty big too, and it's thick cut. Okay. Definitely okay, cheaper I like prices. That, I like that. 
I think that it's a good thing. I just hope that this um, supermarket and this community brings more jobs. The society we live in today, no telling how you know people are going under far as financially. So exactly. definitely need affordable stuff exactly. in the community. Look, guys, they got breakfast sausage for dollar fifty. Yeah, I want these for dollar. I'm gonna try these out, guys. Oh, look, they got more salmon here. Okay. Wonder why salmon portion oh, is so this? like codfish. Atlantic salmon, guys. Look, nine dollars and sixty-nine cents. Look, some trout, fresh trout, five dollars. Okay. Oh, got some ground beef, six ninety-nine, five ninety-nine. Okay. That's good. That's decent. For well, eleven dollars for this one, but okay. Oh, look, man, found some T-bone steak. Hey. Hey, twelve ninety-nine. Wow. T-bone steak. I mean, it's a pretty nice pack. Oh, they got some wings. Uh oh, how much is they wings, guys? Two fifty for some ground turkey. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They even selling fish whole. If you oh want wow! Dang. What kind of fish is that? Twelve dollars. God, Bronzino. <laughs> they got the Bronzino, guys. No, thank you, guys. They also tell you to download the app to save more money, so that's pretty good. All right, y'all. So we in another aisle. We got some pickles up in here. Olives. I ain't gonna lie, the ripe pickles do taste good though. The ripe right pickles, pickle, the ripe right pickles. Right pickle. Oh, they got gallons of vinegar. Oh, dang, never seen no gallon of vinegar like that. Okay. Mayo, mustard, okay. Everything looks like they got pretty good prices, guys. I mean, some of them might be off brand, but hey, the cheaper the better. And the more you save, right? Oh, they got peanuts over here. Oh, snap. Chocolate covered almonds, but they're like dusted coconut almonds. Oh, they dusted and not dipped. Oh, okay, cool. I was checking these, but I'm not too sure about chili lime, to be honest. Robin looking for some good sweet cashews, yeah, and he can't cashew. find them. I got some. It was like brown sugar, cashew, peanuts. Yeah, peanuts. Y'all remember it was a guy in my community back in the day that used to sit down <laughs> with bags of uh, peanuts and feed all the squirrels, and as kids, we used to run up. Had good. a whole bag of them things. They got jackets in here. That's nice. Not the best, but it's a they jacket. got socks. Oh, the ladies, look, they even got stuff for us. Oh, snap. A good size, a little thin size. Christmas gift, guys. One of those oh, cousins that need 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Hey. Oh, they got boots. Oh, they got boots. Y'all, what y'all think? What y'all think hey. of these boots? Oh, these are cute. These are cute. Okay. Oh, they got pajamas and everything. Oh, that's cute. 10 bucks. Is it? Yeah. It's nice and soft, too. Oh, these are nice. Got stuff Different man, colors. Man. Oh, Hoodie. snap. They got stuff for men, stuff for women. Oh, they got stuff for kids. Look how cute it is with dinosaurs. Oh, snap. Okay, guys. Good. Shopping on the budget. I like it. I like it. Got work stuff. Got stuff for your house, for your backyard. Oh, I like this. Look, stuff for your car. Oh, snap. This is pretty cool. Oh, look, they got seat covers. Yo, that's pretty cool. This is my style. You gonna buy me something for Christmas? Something like this. A scented candy. $15. Yeah, but it gotta smell good because he's very picky on what it smell like. It's fresh? Mm -hmm. No. It don't smell like nothing. It's supposed <laughs> to be vanilla sugar. Mm, I don't smell nothing. This but a hey. Nice Christmas gift too. $15. $15. Like how big it is. I know it's real My big. It'll last you a hot minute. Yeah. Got about six to eight weeks in there. That's pretty cool. Got the Christmas stuff going on. Sure okay. Do. Sure do. Well, they got those cookies Stephanie loves. Which one? Right here. I wonder why they, oh, they're a little big. I'm going to say $10, but it's the... Oh, it's got a lot in there. Oh, yeah. wow. It could last about a week. Dang. These last about a day. <laughs> Get ready for Christmas, y'all. Uh-oh. Look at this one. So, <gasps> Harry Potter. Porter. It's a nice oh, Christmas gift, too. That's cute. I like this. Hot that's chocolate, nice. but it's different flavors. 15 bucks. Oh, ugly sweater makers. Cookies. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like it in here already. I like all the prices. I like the prices that got the dollars on it. You see the dollars? Oh, they even got bowls and stuff. Oh, snap and pans and everything. Would this give you five bucks? Dang, I don't know. Slap you in it? Ooh. Dang. Like, have you ever seen one of those movies where they, like, the old ladies fight back in the community and they just start <laughs> grabbing their the pants? <laughs> go smack you one dude. Yo, chill. Oh, dang. Oh, look at these cups. These are cute, too. 
one that just didn't even work if any of this stuff really What work. you mean? It's so a brush. Uh, I guess. I don't see why not. I can do this dish brush. This to fix their edges. Boy, Stop if you don't. Back. Dang, it's a lot of stuff. They got pillows. Oh, this is what we don't cool. have. And I be mad. Like when I make my cakes, I only can make square cakes. And I be saying I be wanting to make like a fluff cake. That's nice. 13 bucks. Remember when we was kid, my dad wanted these. Like aluminum. Oh, it's actually eight dollars. Very nice. From the baby section, so we got diapers, wipes, lotions, baby oil, swimmers, guys. No baby oil. No baby oil. <laughs> look, they got detergent, everything. Oh, look, seven dollars for this big old thing of detergent. Three for a dollar, which is affordable. They charge you almost like seven, eight dollars. Dollar fifty nine for some sponges. Oh, they got aluminum foil, three ninety nine. Oh, they got the small one down here, two for four. Pretty good. They got some cups. Okay, cups, paper plates, utensils, got garbage bags, Ziploc bags. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, they got almond milk, 250 guys. Almond milk, this stuff is really expensive too. But cheap in here. Just think about doing some pulled chicken. This drink got barbecue sauce in it though. I like this. I was gonna use this to make some tacos with some cilantro, make some um, different sauce. So let's see what they frozen section is looking like. Frozen chicken and stuff like that. Frozen different joints. Got that Tyson chicken, eight something that's pretty affordable i know the tyson chicken could go for ten dollars or more i know 889 it's not bad the here is saying 13 i'm assuming this is a family pack which is not bad you think we should grab a bag i mean i'm stephanie eats that the most a family bag oh she eats it on the regular kind of like all <laughs> oh, she ever would eat that chicken she loves that chicken Let's see if the price of eggs is affordable for a dozen eggs. Three fifty nine for a dozen eggs. I don't know. I don't know. We usually try to buy like the big eighteen packs. I don't really see it. I think the eggs in here are a little pricey. Three seventy seven for some milk. Is that affordable? Is that That's affordable? That's affordable, but they usually like five bucks. Right? That's what I was wondering if they had any turkey in here. If I see some turkey. Seventy nine a pound. Let's see if we can see one of the labels. What's the brown turkeys about? Never seen those before. Why they brown turkeys look like that? Oh, <laughs> why oh, look it like dang. that? 33. I still don't know why is it brown though. I'm gonna figure that out. Really cooked. Smoked. That's why. 26. Oh, that's not look, if not, if you having a, a hard Thanksgiving. <laughs> one person. Hey. I like 369 that, I like for just this personal thing. What's this? A family or oh, this fish fillet? Okay. Interesting. But definitely, whenever you are, uh, you can have a personal Thanksgiving meal all to yourself. Yeah. But definitely use some of these colossal size shrimp, though. Why not? Especially that one right they there. Seven dollars. You want that? Hell yeah. <laughs> shrimp guy. Definitely. They look pretty good too. Yeah, those are the jumbo size. I think we usually get more, but it'd be more expensive. So I guess it's affordable for the price that you know the portion that you're getting. So they got a lot of stuff over here. Cheese, pizza, breakfast, ice cream. If you guys want some ice cream, more seafood here. They got that fish in the bag if you guys want to um, do it yourself. Sardines. Oh, no, thank you. I don't eat sardines. Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't know about no sardines either. <laughs> Coconut, shrimp. This is definitely like the seafood, breakfast, potato, desserts. This is the section we gotta stay away from. We shouldn't even be in this section. Ice cream and gelato, peppermints and Twix. Oh man, this stuff is the Dang. devil. That cheesecake looks promising. Two dollars for some cheesecake? That's a dollar a slice. No thank you, leave it nah, Definitely cool. They got mini cream puffs. Never seen that. What is this one? Like Macaroons, caramel. if you guys like macaroons. And two slices of cheesecake for two dollars, y'all. Oh, and it's frozen. It's frozen. It's worth it. It's a dollar a slice. No. They even got these guys. Comment down below if you remember these Freedom Pops when we was kids. We used to love those. Like the red, <laughs> white, and blue joints. Look, 12 bucks for the whole thing. 12 bucks for the whole thing. Hey. That's like 15 slices in there. And that's like 50 cents a slice. $2.40. It's not bad. I like the garlic bread. I'll, I'll do the well, garlic bread. They got the bread. cheese, the five cheese. Oh. Let's get one. $2.00. Can't go wrong. So which one you want? Five cheese or regular? Doesn't matter. They the regular one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they got the 
she got excited for the five cheese, but it's all the same thing. We need a basket, I think. I don't know. We we said we wasn't coming to get a lot of stuff. We just want to show you guys what they got in here and show you guys the prices. I don't know if y'all like those murder burgers, but y'all definitely could definitely get some white like, coffee burgers. But they got that dim sum. Oh snack. Oh lord. Yeah, you want some dim sum boy? Nope. No thank you. I don't want it. Uh, no dumb sum. What did I egg roll? Get it. Four dollars. Jazz gonna need a basket. I'm gonna have to walk back to the front. They even got mini wong tong chicken and vegetable dumplings. Uh oh. Jazz going for the dumb sum. Chicken egg rolls. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. Yeah, let me get a basket. So they got pizzas, pizzas on pizzas. I love pizza. Pizzas is like one of my favorite go-to. I could eat pizza for a week, no problem. Crushed berries if you guys want to make like smoothie drinks and stuff like that. It's pretty dope. Yep, yep. Bags of ice. We need ice for events. They definitely got bags of ice, four dollars. Big bags of ice too. Also got a self-checkout. That's pretty good. Self-checkout is good. Jazz found the basket, so we back in the business. Get them. They only a dollar. Get a few. Get like three or four. This one probably tastes good. Cherry is one of my favorite flavors. I like the strawberry. What's this? Orange? Orange. Starburst. So let's Starburst. try cherry. Starburst is really sweet candy. So should be but really this sweet is juice. Like water. It's zero sugar. If you say so. So the supermarket is actually not that big, but it actually packs a punch. I see a lot of stuff in here and it's definitely affordable. You definitely could come in here and get a lot of stuff for the house. And you definitely could get a lot of stuff that you need just to pick up for work or just for your daily routine. Well, how much is this? 20 bucks, guys, for 30 count from tissue. Oh. As long as it's not that tissue that disintegrates when you go to use it. Uh. Three quarters. Oh, you got the quarters in and I don't want to come because I can never find them. Jungle. Different flavors, too. Time. Only got herbs, but they got also lemon mint, which is pretty good. Stuff for working out, peroxide, you know. They got stuff for your hair, baby. Protein, it's a hair mask. Ooh. You need that, two dollars. More like for Stephanie. Yeah. Oh, this smells really nice. Wow. Ladies, if you need to get some of your cosmetic stuff, personal stuff. Men, if you need to shave it up, keep it clean, nice and clean. No cleanliness is next to godliness. Never seen this one before. Is it like a different smell or super hydrating? Never seen this one before. Actually, I use this one to shave. I never really saw that one. This one, extra moisturizing. Amazon be having some good deals with the chips. They give you like two for like six, two for eight, depending on the brand. Kettle corn. I like this kettle corn joint. Barbecue kettle corn too. Mediterranean joint. Babe, you don't like these joints? The kettle corn barbecue chips? I don't know, never had them. So guys, they got the off-brand Pringles, right? Pringles here cost two ten, and then they got the off-brand snack day for dollar seventy-five. So which ones would y'all prefer? <laughs> A lot of people gonna say the Pringles, but I prefer the off-brand. It's cheaper, and better. Who knows? Right? Yeah, you could get two of these. Yeah, Price of one of these. Yep, yeah, that's true. Some Oreos, if you kids got those sweet tooth, those oatmeal pies. I don't know about y'all, but I love Twizzlers. Oh, Twizzlers. Not so a lot of people disgusting. like these. I'm old, I guess. But I love disgusting. these. What you mean? These are it's a hard no for me. Some Twizzlers. Nah, I'm Twizzlers. Is, Twizzlers is candy you give to bad kids, man. I guess I was a bad kid. I had those yeah, all the time. Twizzlers. Go your taco shells. Oh, snap. See, they have to look too far. The Lord will provide. See, 379. They got the 12 soul drink. Let's see what we get, man. Let's see what we get. They even got beans. They got Goya beans. Oh, Goya beans always expensive. I don't know why. Why is Goya beans all expensive? The guandules, man. If you want to eat that good Spanish rice, you got to pay a little extra. <laughs> what she found? Okay, this comes 12 shells, taco sauce, and taco seasoning for $3.79. That's I'm 12. Gonna the box. Yeah, 12. This one's 12 for two something. That's a little more affordable. Why not? Yeah, but this is only shells. No sauce, no seasoning, no nothing. There you go. Okay. I heard you <laughs> loud and clear, sweets. This one is a soft and hard for 376. And it comes with everything you need. It's cheaper. It's affordable. It's for me. And this is the El Paso brand. They even got, what's this, Southwest Sweet Style seasoning? Ooh. We have that meat tasting crazy. Wow. 
It's the old ball. Quesadilla blend, guys. They got a Southwest. Okay. I don't know about that one too much. Not too certain. Not too certain. No. They definitely got a lot of stuff in here, man. There's people in here. And that's a good thing. At least the fact that they just opened this. This thing hasn't even been open a week yet. I don't know what that is either. Jazz, Jazz be in the kitchen a little more than I, so yeah. It's not so big in here, but that's a good thing. So you can actually take your time, walk around, and get what you need. I say come wise new, because yeah. definitely when it starts to get more popular, who knows what can happen. I just hope that it'll um, be good in the community, because yes, people will start coming here and stealing. People will come in and destroy it, even though they live in the community, but. Let's hope not. Man. Let's hope not, man. But we definitely want to end this video here. So if you're new to our channel, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the day. We love you guys. Don't forget to like, Cheers. and subscribe. Yes, sir. We love you guys. We want to see y'all.